Alright, so here's the Stormbreaker here. All I've done to it is spray painted the handle brown. That's it. Taped up the top, spray painted the handle brown. Haven't done any wet sanding or anything. Ordered some of these. These are uh, blue LEDs for like 10 bucks. You get a whole big thing of them. But I'm going to do some testing on two. Also got a whole bunch of these. Uh, same thing. For like 10 bucks you can get a whole bunch of these connectors. And basically today I'm not going to I need to find a spot to hide the battery, like I need to find, I need to do all sorts of stuff, so I'm not, this isn't a finish day, it's just a test day to see how many LEDs I need to, uh, to light up. So I'm not, I'm not cutting the ends of these or anything, we're not going to do anything special. No sizing, no nothing, just... I drilled a hole in the bottom here and then in the top here uh, and then I put one down in here and one there. Uh, you can use a drill bit or you can use uh, Dremel has a sanding it's like it's like a sanding thing that's that's uh, kind of the shape of a triangle and I just took that and it was a perfect size I'll show you guys it here, in, here in a well I'll, I'll just show you guys a picture instead of going and getting it I'll show you guys a picture up in the corner of what I'm talking about it's off camera right now I'm just I don't have my helping hands anymore that I used to have when I built drones so I've got to lean this over the edge so basically we just take I think the blue's the positive. I don't know, it didn't come with a schematic. So, some LEDs, the black is the positive and the other color isn't. But I'm guessing since these are blue LEDs, that the blue LEDs are the blue positive. Okay, so the polarity is backwards. So, I had, I took the battery and switched it around and I was right. Uh, that's just the weird thing about these LEDs. Like I said, the black is typically the positive on some. And the color, whatever color you have, is typically the ground. Now that we've got both of them pretty cruddily wired, should be able to see where we stand. Ah, no, plug it in. Awesome. So like I thought it was spreading it spreads the color throughout. Uh, we'll kind of dim the lights down. So you guys can really see this. And I'm gonna put an on and off switch uh, on here. There it is, the lights dimmed. Uh, I might try to get some more. I don't know, I can't really face them right now. I'm gonna try to see what I can do to get the lights to point that way. I kinda just stuck it down in, stuck it that way. That well, looks pretty good right now. All right, that's what it looks like with about, I think there's five LEDs in here. So this is what it looks like in the dark. And this is what it looks like in the light. So whether it's in the light or dark, it still lights up really good. So I got my lightning going on. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to hide these. There's just a ton of wires. Uh, and I got to put an on and off switch and figure out where to put the battery. So uh, 
There's a spot down in here. I'm thinking about just rebuilding or remaking this bigger because it would be easy to put a lot easier to put a battery right here if it was bigger. See this is just too little but I think if I made this bigger I could make a little cavity right there for the battery and then put a little on and off switch on this side that way you kind of hold it here flip it on and off then you're going you know I could probably do that with this size I guess give me a little thing to put the battery on the bag and I could I could even paint these green all these wires and make it kinda like the vines I'm not sure what would have been a lot easier is and I'm gonna remake this anyway so I will be making a bigger one with this uh, where this and this are both sliced in half so the two pieces will come together and then go on so I won't have to drill any holes there's a hole here a hole here, a hole up on top, uh, a hole up here, you know, and then there's one in the base in here and one in the base up here. So, bigger, I'll be able to use the channels on the inside because I'm going to hollow the inside out and just, just basically print the outer edge. Uh, so I'll be able to stick all the LEDs in where I want them to go, glue them, and then put the two pieces together. And then this will be, I've already got this all planned out because I've already got the, the uh, G-codes made. But this right here is from here to here and it's split in half. So that can go together and I can put the battery in there with a little system to open this up and close it. That way everything's hidden, all the wires, everything. So I'm going to make a little concept storm breaker with this one. Just, just a concept and I'll try to hide as much as I can. Uh, but I think after my any cubics back up probably a couple months from now I'll be making the extended Stormbreaker at least before the next Infinity Wars and in, before Infinity War 4 or Avengers 4 because this one's small anyways I mean it's it's a super small print and that's a hundred percent right there you know but I love the concept of the lights I have a huge bunch of them you know that I can use. I'll be using them on other projects as well. Uh, I'll, I just I love that concept. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go through with making the bigger Stormbreaker after I get this one done. And you guys will see this one. This one will be messier um, than the than the next one, but it still looks pretty good. It'll still look really good when it's done. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys. Later.